Hello year one and happy Tuesday. This is our second literacy lesson together this week and today we're going to be exploring a suffix. So you might have remembered me saying that word on our video yesterday and we're going to find out what it means today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you and we will look at what our lesson is all about and then we'll get started. So today is Tuesday the 19th of January 2021 and we're going to see how do brilliant writers add suffixes to root words and I'll decode all of that for you in just a moment. We're going to start with a warm up and we're going to look at some red words, some of Trixie's words, some from yesterday, and I'm going to add two more in for us to explore today. Then we're going to have a look at verbs. So we're going to find out what verbs are and then we're going to see if we can add a suffix to the verbs. And then the final task is for you to see if you can spell some of the words that we've learnt all by yourselves. So before we get started, you need to make sure that you've got everything that you need for this lesson. So you're going to need your pencil today. You're going to need your notebook or a piece of paper. So your exercise book. If you haven't got that, then grab yourself a piece of paper. And of course, we need our brains. So if you need to pause the video here and go and find your pencil or something to write on, do that for me now. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. So you should have your pencil you should have your notebook or a piece of paper. And if you can, as brilliant writers, it's really important that we try and sit at a table. So if you've got a table and you can sit at a table on a chair, that is fantastic too. And of course we need our brains. So let's give our brains a little bit of a warm up because we are going to look at Trixie's words again and we're gonna try and read the words we looked at yesterday and two more words. So let's see if I can come back onto your screen and we're gonna have a look back at the words we learned yesterday. So have a go, this is gonna be your turn first. Are you ready? Eyes on me. My, well done. Let's have a go of that together. My turn, your turn, my. Brilliant. And if you knew how to read my, you're gonna be fantastic at by. Well done. My turn, your turn. By. Brilliant. And it's that cheeky Y that is making us know that it, it's a bit of a red word that's trying to trick us out. So it is the Y that we need to be careful to read and spell with. Brilliant job. Have a go at this one. Well done. My turn, your turn. Some. Some. Brilliant. And remember, it was our O and our E, quite a few letters in there that is making it a bit confusing. We can't sound this word out. And if we spelt it, we wouldn't spell it right. So you need to remember some. And of course, if you can read some, then you can read come. Well done. My turn, your turn. Come. Come. Fantastic. Okay, we remembered the four from yesterday. Let's have a go at adding some more in. So we're going to have a go at this word. My turn, your turn. His. His. Let's put that into a sentence. His coat is red. His. Fantastic. And if you listen really carefully, his. Z, z. Sometimes it sounds like the s should be a z. So we've got to remember that it's h, i, s, 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 not a z, 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 zigzag, zig. Now, a little bit like the other words that we've learned, if you can read this one, then you will be able to have a go at this one. My turn, your turn, has, has. Brilliant, as in year one has lots of amazing children. So has, again, you can hear that z sound at the end, but we've got to remember it's not a zigzag zip, it is a s that comes at the end. Okay, I'm shuffling them all up now. I'm going to add these in to the one that we have learnt yesterday, the pile that we've learnt, just checking they're all the right way around, and you're going to see if you can have a go all by yourself this time. So Miss Close's voices.
you guys are amazing. Let's just have a bit of a recap, okay? So it's my turn and your turn. Are you ready? Come, some, his, has, by, my. You are awesome. Well done, everybody. It looks like you have got your brains all warmed up. So let's move on to finding out about verbs. Now you might have learned a little bit about verbs with our Hamwick teachers um, in uh, the lessons that you had last week with them, but we're going to explore them a bit more today and maybe do a recap. So a verb is a doing word. So it is a verb um, that is an, it describes an action. So I've got my word here, verb, and it explains that it's a word to describe an action. So if I was running, the verb is run. I've also got another doing word like jump, clap, eat, stand, walk, laugh and sit. All of those words that you can see in blue, they're doing words. You can go and do them, you can act them out. So it's a bit like when we play Simon Says. So I thought we would have a go at Simon Says, but we're going to play it in a slightly different way. So let me bring myself back onto your screen. Now, remember, a verb is a doing word. So when we play Simon Says, we have to do something. We have to do what Simon says. So I am going to act out something and you have got to tell me, you've got to shout out at the screen what you think my verb is. So we'll do a little bit of a practice, okay? So if, if I'm gonna say Simon says, and then I'm gonna do an action, and you've got to shout out what you think my action is, what you think my verb is. Okay, so this is a practice one, are you ready? Simon says, if you're shouting out the word clap, you are so right, because I clapped. Simon says clap. Okay, so you've got to shout out what you think I'm doing. Are you ready? We're going to go for Simon Says. Well done. If you're shouting out the word drink, you are so right. That's a doing word. Okay, next one. Are you ready? Simon Says. Well done, read, Simon says, read. Okay, what about this next one? Simon says, well done. If you're shouting out the word pat or maybe tap, you are so right, I have to tap my shoulders. Okay, last one, Simon says, Dance, well done. So all of those words that I was acting out, they are verbs. My turn, your turn, verbs, verbs. Well done, year one, awesome. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna be thinking about those verbs, but remember, what we're learning today as brilliant writers is to add a suffix on the end. So let's have a little look about what that means. So I've got some words here that are verbs. If we have a look at this first word, j -a -m -p, jump. Okay, so I can jump up and down. But if I have already done it, it means that it's in the past. And when I've already done something, a bit like this morning when I brushed my teeth, brush is the verb, but I've already done it. I did it this morning. So I have to add a suffix on the end. And that suffix is ed. So can you have a look at my word jump again? But if I have already done it, I've already um, done all my jumping, I would turn the word into jumped. So I would need to add an ed on the end. So it might sound something like Miss Close jumped on the bouncy castle. So I use my word jump, but I add my suffix ed. So that's my main word. That's my verb 
jump. And then because I've already done it, I'm adding ED. What am I adding? ED, well done. Okay, so let's have a look at this next one. We've got the word p -l -a. So I can play, that's a doing word. But if we've already had playtime, I would say the children have played. It means it's already happened. Playtime's already gone. So I would use my word play, but what would I add at the end? What's my suffix? Shout it out. ED, well done. So I'm always going to add the suffix ED. And that's when we've already done something. So we're writing in the past. Now, we had a look at our story yesterday from um, Oliver Jeffers, and it was called The Way Back Home. And I explored this book after our lesson yesterday. And this book is written in the past. And I'm going to show you how I know that. I know that because Oliver Jeffers has used the suffix ed. So let's have a little look. If we have a look at this picture over here, I will read you out his sentence. He said, the plane lifted off the ground and up into the sky. So the verb is lift, but it already happened. The plane lifted. So can you see that we've had to add an ed on the end? The word was lift. We add our suffix ed and it turns to lifted. Okay, let's have a little look at our next picture. This is when it all went a bit wrong for the boy, didn't it? And the plane spluttered. <laughs> it's almost like you're coughing out. The plane has had to cough up all of its petrol because it's got a poorly engine. So we could say splutter, but because it's happened in the past, it's written as spluttered. And you can see our ED is on the end. And I've written it down here again, and I've underlined our suffix. Can you see that? Brilliant. So that was two clues that this book is written in the past, but I found even more words. Have a look. The boy jumped down to earth to get the things they would need. So he's not jumping. He's not doing it right now. He already did it. He jumped. Can you spot the after? Great job, guys. And have a little look at this one. See if you can work out what he was doing. What was the verb? Shout. But he's not doing it now. He's already done it. So the sentence said, he ran outside and shall did. Shouted. So he added an ed on the end. That is our suffix rule. And there's two more. Have a little cheeky look at this. When the boy was um, helping the Martian and when the Martian was helping the boy, they used some verbs. Have a look at this. The boy fixed up the Martian's engine with the right spanner. And then over here, I've got Martian filled the boy's petrol tank. So my verb is fix, but you already did it. So we fixed ED. And the verb over here is fill. That's what the Martian did, but he's already done it. So he filled the boy's petrol tank. So our suffix today is ED. So let's have a little go at looking at those words again. And I'm going to show you, hopefully, really clearly how we add that suffix on. So here's my word. This is the verb. Fill. As in he fill, um, likes to fill up the cup or filled up the tank. And if we've already done it, what are we going to add? E-D. So the word turns into filled. Brilliant job. Okay, see if you can do this next one. The verb is fix. Fix. If we've already done it, it turns into fixed. Well done, everybody. Let's have a go at this one. 
The verb is jump. Jump. If I've already done it, then I jumped. Well done. Okay, this is this one where you splatter and you splutter. So let's read it. Sp uh, oh, some special friends there. Sp uh, splutter. And if the engine had already done that, then it had spluttered. Good job. Okay, this is a loud one. What's the verb? Shout. Shout. And if we've already done it, then we shouted. Brilliant job. And there's one more for us to have a go at. Are you ready? Lift. Like that plane going into the sky. It lifted into the sky. Really well done. So our suffix today is ed. We've got to try and add e d onto the end of our verbs. So this is going to be your challenge. Let's see if I can share my screen again and I will show you exactly what we're going to do. Because I have used those words and I've matched them up to some pictures. So you can see here where the plane lifted up into the sky. You can see the boy when he jumped down to the sea. The boy fixed the spaceship. Oh dear, that's when the engine spluttered. So the plane was spluttering, it spluttered out um, all the petrol. This is where the boy shouted. And the last one is when the Martian filled the uh, tank up for the little boy. So these are the words that match up with your pictures. And you want, these are the words that we're going to try and spell today. So let's have a little look at your task. Now we've got two tasks today. So you can pick the one which is the green challenge where you might need a grown up to help you to start with. And then the yellow challenge is trying to use those pictures that we've just had a look at to match up with those words. So let's have a look at the challenges and then you can decide which one you want to pick. So if you'd like to do the green challenge, that means that you're playing the same game as you did yesterday. You're playing look, cover, write, check. And that means that you're gonna ask an adult or maybe you're going to do it first. You're going to write down the four words that are at the bottom here. So number one, lifted. Number two, jumped. Number three, shouted. And number four, fixed. You're then gonna cover them up. You're gonna have a go at writing them without peeking and then you can check your work. Now, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, then you're going to do the yellow task for us today. And that is drawing these six pictures into your book. And you're going to try and then label the verb in the past. So you've got to use the suffix ed. Now, I know there's some tricky spellings there today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to pause the video on the next uh screen slide that you see. So you have got the verbs, but you have got to add the suffixes. So you've got to add ed. So let me show you what I mean. If you're doing the yellow task, you are going to draw these six pictures into your book. And I've been super nice today. I have left the verb up for you but I've forgotten to put the suffix on the end. So you need to write each word with our ed suffix on. If you think that's too easy, then cover up those words and you can try and spell them all by yourself. But today, the main bit of our learning is to remember ed that comes at the end. And also remember your super brilliant handwriting. So have a go now at pausing the video you're going to open up your books and write these words with the suffix ed at the end. Pause the video now and have a try and then we'll check our answers. Off you go year one. Well done everybody. Okay I am hoping that in your books you have written 
these six words as neatly as you can. So you've remembered your two letters, your ascenders, you've remembered your low letters, the descenders, and most importantly, have you been a brilliant writer and remembered that suffix? What's the suffix that we need at the end? ED. Okay, let's check our answers then. Do you have these words written in your book? So you started with the word lift and then you had to change it to lifted. You would have started with the word jump and changed it to the word jumped. Started with the word fix and added your ED to say fixed. Well done. You would have had the word splutter and then changed it to spluttered. Shout changes to shouted and fill would have changed to filled. So have a little look at that page. Are you going to tick your spellings or if you need to do a bit of fixing, you need to do a bit of editing, then you can do that now using my words. Brilliant job, everybody. We've learned that when we write in the past, we use the suffix ed. Brilliant job. Now I'm going to give you a sneak peek into tomorrow's lesson before I say goodbye, because tomorrow we're going to see if we can use these words and put them into a sentence. So I have chosen the word here, shouted, and I am going to see if I can build shouted into a sentence. So see if you can count how many words I put into my sentence. Are you ready? It says, the boy shouted to the Martian. Oh my goodness, I used six words and I made sure that shouted was one of those words using my learnt suffix. Now, have a look, get closer. Can you see, has Miss Close used a capital letter? <gasps> I have, because when we write sentences, we have to have a capital letter at the start. But that's not the only capital letter I used. Can you spot another one? Well done if you've spotted that Martian has to have a capital letter because it is his name. Amazing, well done. So a sentence tomorrow is going to need to have capital letters. Did I use my finger spaces? Yes, that means I've got a space between every single word. So my six words are spaced out super, super brilliantly. And the last thing, has my sentence got a full stop at the end? Brilliant. So tomorrow, you're going to have a go at using some of those suffix words and you are going to write your very own sentence, just like I've done. So brilliant job, everybody, remembering that verbs are doing words. And when we've already done them, they're in the past. So we add the suffix ed. Well done, everybody. Remember that top tip. Remember all the learning we've done today because we're going to use it in some sentence writing tomorrow. So have a lovely, lovely day. Enjoy the rest of your jobs and your home learning. And I will see you tomorrow for Wednesday's lesson. Bye bye, everyone.